What's good, people? I'm Mary Levin TV here. CBiz on the ZZ Mill Show. First of all, CBiz says it was social media got his, that got his ass locked up when he got locked up for murder. But I'm going to say, what the hell is this guy doing on social media, threatening people, threatening to mash people up, threatening when they see them, what he's going to do to them? It's all social media he's using. So when he goes on social media and says it's real life, I think sometimes people forget what the fuck they're actually talking about, i.e. C. Miz forgets what he's talking about. If you go on social media and make threats to people, and I'm not talking about when he got locked up for murder, I'm talking, if you go on social media and make threats to people, then your ass get locked up because of social media. It was the fucking things you said on social media that got your ass locked up in the first place. So when C. Miz is calling out Dutchavelli's mum and disrespecting the youth's mum or talking that he's going to smack the youth up, Fredo, and he's going to smack him up when he sees him and to suck his mother and anybody that likes him suck their mother too, C. Miz forgets what the sh fuck he's saying on social media. So when he goes, he don't go on social media to cause all problems, what do you do when you go on social media? I think the problem with C. Miz is he thinks he's too tough, too gangster to actually admit that he's fucking talking shit. That's what a lot of these guys do like C. Miz. When you're talking shit, you don't know what to say, you just say any old random shit that makes sense to you and makes sense to the fucking donut people that are listening because when I'm listening to what C Miz says I can only take one thing from it C Miz if you want to do rapping and you do fucking business you do rap and you do business if a man call you out on social media and you feel like you're too bad you're not supposed to answer a fool on social media they're on fucking social media if it's for entertainment C Miz why so serious that's why I like to always ask some man that here man why do man feel like they need to be so serious to be taken to be taken seriously as for what C Miz says and Z Easy Mills is always talking about Jamaicans and Africans and all that shit. And I have to hear a lot of guys that come on their fucking program talk about Africans and Jamaicans. I'm going to tell you guys something out there. I'm going to do a, a video on Jamaicans and Africans. I love both. I love Jamaicans. I love Africans. Each their own. But I'm going to say to you guys out there, in CBS's era, there was nobody in, no one's ends in London besides Jamaicans doing what they need to do in 2021 jamaicans have made their money they've gone back home some most of them some of them are dead should i say and some of them are living a quiet life so when man likes to talk about jamaicans there was no one that wanted to do, be african back in the day everyone wanted to be jamaicans back in the day so let's just get one thing simple and one thing straight there was no african parties back in the day it was all jamaican parties so some guys out there like see biz when he just brushes it off and try to be like yeah this and that he's not taking their swag don't fucking lie. See, Miz, you're jacking the yard, man, swag. Facts. The only thing I can actually confirm to you guys is see, Miz ain't lying when he says he's actually a humble guy because in jail back in the day, the guy was a humble guy. In jail when he went jail this time, he was a humble guy. So there's a lot of things that I never understand about most men out there. When they go on like they're so bad that they can't never be humble or that they're so bad they can never be touched. The fact of the matter is, viewers, subscribers, anyone and everyone can be touched at the right time and the right place. It's very simple. See, Miz saying that, obviously, it's all in entertainment and all that type of shit if it's entertainment man should be smiling and laughing and doing what they need to do you never need to be serious in the sense of you never need to be making your face serious acting serious like to say if you laugh and joke a man's gonna take you for a fool a man's gonna take you for a fool if they're in front of your face and they're doing something to you to take you for a fool if a man's disrespecting on social media like i'll always say to you guys out there social media enough man get fucking bodied over social media but if you're really about what you're about out there viewer subscribers you never need to take social media personal remain relevant tv credit to zz mills like share subscribe and as always peace